Hello there everyone and welcome to a new tutorial on the Future Programmer YouTube channel. In this video, I will be going over the installation and usage of Sublime Streamlit, which is a Sublime Text package that I created for Python's Streamlit library. Without further ado, let's begin. To start off, Sublime Streamlit is a Sublime Text package, essentially a plugin or extension, for Python's Streamlit library, which is a framework for developing data-oriented web applications in Python, providing completion, build system, and documentation when writing Streamlit programs in the Sublime Text code editor. I will leave the links to this GitHub repository of Sublime Streamlit, as well as the package page on the Sublime Text package control in the description of this video if you'd like to check that out. Now let's talk about installing Sublime Streamlit within the Sublime Text code editor. Here I have opened Sublime Text in safe mode, which simulates a brand new installation of Sublime Text. If you have never installed packages in Sublime Text before, you would want to go to the full section right here and click on install package control. This way you will see a pop-up that tells you package control was successfully installed. Now you want to press Ctrl Shift P to open up the command palette as you see here. In this palette, you want to type in install, which will show the option to use package control to install packages. Pressing enter, you should see a list of all the packages available on the package control repository. In this box, you want to type in streamlit, which is the name of the package we want to install. Clicking enter here, you should see this package control message displayed about streamlit. And of course, I'll talk about all of this in just a second. If you see this page open up, that means you have successfully installed Sublime Streamlit within Sublime Text. Now that we have Sublime Streamlit installed, let's talk about how you can use this package to speed up the development of your Streamlit programs in Sublime Text. Note that you may have to restart Sublime Text for all the functionalities of Sublime Streamlit to become available. Sublime Streamlit contains three main functionalities, code completion, building Streamlit programs, and accessing Streamlit documentation. We'll talk about these one at a time. First up, Streamlit code completion. In Sublime Text, if you open a Python program and type in st. Dot, you're able to access the entire list of all the functions provided by the Streamlit package, which is regularly updated as more functions are added to the Streamlit package. And if you type in something like select box, you're able to access a snippet that contains relevant information about this function, and you can use the tab key on your keyboard to navigate between the different parameters in this function call. Here's another example. Next, let's talk about how we can use Sublime Streamlit to run Streamlit programs in Sublime Text. In this Python file, I will write a quick and simple Streamlit program, and then I will run it using Sublime Streamlit. Notice how I will use the completion feature of Sublime Streamlit to speed up the writing of this program. Firstly, I will import Streamlit as st, and then I will use st.header to print out animals. And then I will define a variable choice, which is equal to st.radio, label of choose, an animal with options of either cat or dog. Index will be zero. Times will be equal to st.slider, label being number of animals. Min value will be equal to zero, max value will be equal to 100, value will be zero, and step will be one. If choice is equal to cat, then I'll use st.write to print out the cat emoji times the number of times the user has inputted. Otherwise, I'll use st.write to print out the dog emoji multiplied by times. After I finish this program, I can use the command palette, again, Control Shift P to open up this panel. I can type in build with, and I can use the streamlet option right here to run this program. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl Shift B 
to open up this panel. Navigate down to Streamlit and hit Enter. You'll see the running of this program will result in the opening of a web browser with the application we just developed. Here, I can toggle between cat and dog and move the slider around to change the number of emojis that's shown on the screen. Going back to Sublime Text, you can stop this program from running by hitting the Tools button right here, clicking on Cancel Build, and you'll see the running of this program has been cancelled. The next time you want to run a program using Sublime Streamlit, you can just hit Ctrl B, and Sublime Text will remember you want to run this program using Streamlit. Lastly, let's talk about how you can use Sublime Streamlit to access Streamlit documentation really quickly. Let's say, for example, you're writing a program and you want to use the st.code function, but you forgot how this function works. Well, what you can do is you can highlight this code right here and open up the command palette using Control shift p and then type in Streamlit. Here we see two main options since OpenReadMe is rather useless when writing actual programs. We have documentation, doc, or search doc. The difference between the two of these is that clicking on doc or pressing enter here will open up the documentation of the function that you have selected, which in this case is st.code. On the other hand, you can open up Streamlit search doc to see the list of all the functions in Streamlit. And for example, if I want to look up number input, I can type in number input. Hitting enter, we will see the documentation page of st.numberInput opened in our web browser. And we can take a look at the documentation to figure out what we want to do in our program. The list of functions in Sublime Streamlit, including the one here in the documentation page, as well as in the completion feature, are all regularly updated as more features become available with Streamlit. And that's all for this video on using Sublime Streamlit to help you develop Streamlit programs faster and easier in Sublime Text. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. If you would like to learn more about the Streamlit package and how to use it to create data-oriented web applications, I have a playlist for just this topic. Feel free to check it out on my channel. And lastly, if you found this video to be helpful, please consider subscribing down below to learn more about programming. With that said, thank you very much for watching and happy streamlitting!